Okay, I will uh, now go through the advanced settings of MuGen, the music generator. Uh, if you haven't watched the uh, beginner tutorial, you should probably go back and watch that first. Here goes. So let's uh, click on the export settings. In here, you have some um, extra settings uh, to give you even more control of the generated uh, results. Um, so first of all, you have here access to the complete uh, progression library. You will recognize this number series from your progression uh, drop downs, like here. So let's go in and um, add a new progression. Maybe you have heard a pop song that you like, or uh, um, you have uh, watched some YouTube video that uh, shows you a progression. Maybe you have looked at a list of the most famous uh, rock progressions of all time and want to try it out. Then you can just enter that progression into this uh, text box and uh, you can listen to it. So uh, just to make it simple, I will create a progression 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Add that to the library and then I can right click it and to play it. Sounds nice. Um, if I go back, I can now choose this progression as my intro, outro, pre chorus progression or as any of the other progressions. So this will give you a full control of what progressions you can play in your music. Um, I'll just go through some of the other uh, options in this screen. Uh, the embellishment chance is if you use a non-chord based melody it will use this to add some uh, extra steps to your melody progression. Um, um, it will, uh, for example, let's say you have a B note, it will add maybe an A and a C note before and after that note to kind of create a small embellishment of that note to make the melody more lively and interesting. There are lots of different uh, embellishments uh, available, so um, um, use this to, um, if you use the, um, let's try embellishment chance 100 and listen to what uh, melody it can now come up with. As you could hear that will, um, those extra notes, those quick extra notes, uh, those are the embellishment. Let's uh, set the chance to zero and uh, compare. Okay. Um, the, the next one is the note rest. Uh, the more, uh, the higher the rest percentage is, the more notes will kind of be skipped in the melody. Uh, good default value is 10. Uh, let's try with 50 and let's see uh, what the melody will sound like then. So um, the silence parts percentage is for a verse or a chorus uh, let's say uh, the normal is uh, that five different instruments are playing, the piano, the guitar, etc. Um, the silence part percentage will influence um, the chance of one of those instruments, uh, instruments uh, not playing for that part. Let's say the guitar is silenced for that part. So this is can be used to create more variation and more um, space in your generated music. Um, there are some settings here. Uh, the factory reset that will just reset uh, all the settings to the default. Um, the, um, you can also save your settings. 
to a new file if you want if you have a good combination of parameters that you want to save for later or maybe even share with other people in the community you can save them and send them and uh, uh, later you can load them using uh, this button also if you don't like the default uh, directory um, uh, Mugen is using to save your albums you can choose your work uh, directory here all albums will be then written to that directory the different uh, song parts have um, their own channel 1 through 14 and you can see the name of each channel um, channel 0 has the, uh, is for the melody and it's using the grand piano by default let's listen uh, there are also some options for each channel. Uh, the first one is silence, that means don't play this channel at all. Uh, so if you want a song but you just want the counter melody and not the melody, you can just silence the melody like this. Um, the rhythm. Clicking this will slightly uh, change the duration of each note to make uh, Make it sound more human. Uh, yeah, kind of. Um, dynamic has some of the same effect. Um, it will change uh, how hard each note is played, how loud it will uh, sound. Um, the spread uh, that will um, uh, play the note uh, somewhere between the far right and the far left. Um, for uh, for each note and the bounce will uh, if the first note is playing to the far right the second note will be playing at the far left and uh, every other time like this the merge is an interesting one if you have um, have a melody with a lot of notes it will it will merge the notes uh, a lot of quick notes uh, of the same pitch same uh, the same note will be merged together to one long note also um, um, space in the melody will be filled out with those extended notes so you'll get a more um, kind of a slower melody with uh, not so many stops or beats. So let's have a listen. Compare to this. You will also notice that you have uh, a, an export button for uh, some of the channels. So let's say you find a chord progression you li really like. Let's uh, just listen to this one. Uh, you can click the export button to save just this track. To, uh, to disk so you can use this as a building block in your DAW um, or your MIDI software later so let's try that you will find the um, exported track in your uh, work directory under tracks so um, here it is So the solo will use the settings from this screen, but also the settings from this screen when creating um, that part. So if I choose uh, 
um, and it will actually use the verse progression. Uh, so if I change the progression to 1-1, one, one, go to the export setting and I click solo for the, um, for the keys, it will use the 1-1 one, one progression. And um, you might be a little bit surprised that it changed. Uh, but the reason for that is that I have the Suspend 2 and Suspend 4 selected. That means when uh, doing a chord change, instead of playing the regular 1-3-5, it will play either the 1-2-5 or the 1-4-5 um, to create some variation. So if I remove that, let's go back. So you can hear the difference. Uh, we can also try to add the seventh note to get a kind of um, um, instead of one three five, we will use the one three five seven of the chord. Um, so you kind of you add one extra note on top of the of the chord. So you can hear that this uh, fuller. We can even add the ninth, so an, another note on top. Okay, uh, I will now choose a progression that goes from uh, one to seven. Uh, and uh, let's just listen to the progression now. It goes through all the um, kind of numbers, uh, but um, on top there it kind of sounds a, bit, a little bit piercing. So that's why we can utilize uh, inversions. What that means is that it will uh, still play all the notes, but if the highest note uh, goes above uh, a threshold, it will uh, uh, be put down one octave. Uh, so it will always keep all the notes within a specified range that is one octave. Uh, so um, I'll uh, turn on inversions and uh, let's listen to the results. Let's do the verse only uh, with this same progression and turn everything on. Um, uh, we'll have the FX track, we'll have the pad track, we'll have chord separation, uh, turn on inversions, 7, sus2, sus4, add 9, um, yeah, like this. And just uh, let's generate a short song using these settings and let's have a listen. Okay. Um, a lot of stuff uh, going on. Uh, let's uh, go into the export settings and uh, change the silence parts up to 50% instead. And then uh, see what happens. As you can hear, it will turn on and off the different instrument based on uh, where you are in the song. So instead of playing everything at once, it will switch between them. And if you want more uh, direct control, 
over this. Um, you can go back, set it to zero, and then you can choose individually which parts you want to play uh, for the song. Uh, for example, I'm not interested, uh, even if I turn on the um, chord separation, I'm just interested in the top note of the chord. So I will silence the other parts. Also uh, for the padding, I just want to play the root note because uh, I intend to use this for a kind of a bass padding uh, in my door. So let's uh, leave that on and turn the others off. And now let's listen to that result. You might ask yourself, what happens if uh, both of these are on, the silence part percentage and the silence? Uh, what you choose in these boxes here will always override what's here. So uh, if I leave that this 50, that will never turn on these uh, silence tracks, but it might turn off this one. So let's try a different structure. We'll try the build up instead. See what we can come up with. When you get results like this, uh, that means you have probably silenced a little bit too much. So let's uh, remove the silencing of this and the silence part percentage. Let's turn that back to 15. Something you might notice is that uh, the progression is seven um, notes long or seven sections long. The progression length is two. If the progression is longer than what you have chosen here, this is what counts. This is what is used. If it's the other way around, like let's say the progression is too long and uh, uh, the progression length set here is four, this will be repeated. So if you have one let's say you have a one four it will go one four one four to fill this uh, progression length but if you instead use the extend it will stretch this to fill this so that concludes the tutorial for now uh, thank you for watching have fun playing with mugen